It's going to be a three-ring circus today. Maybe, but these three Wilton girls didn't mind taking part of the show. After all, it isn't every day the president comes to town. We yeah, need we two need signs, um, one for the president and one for um, the Spice Girls. Spice Girls aside, it was Clinton who took the center ring. We love red, white, and blue. Mr. Prez, shake our hand, too. But a handshake with the Prez can cost some serious money. At a Democratic fundraiser, lunch with the president at Martha Stewart's Norwalk studio went for $5,000 a plate. Dessert? Tack on another $1,500. But food wasn't the only item on the menu. I don't think there's much of a question. Barbara Canelli deserves your support. Lagging behind in the polls by up to 30 points, Democratic gubernatorial hopeful Barbara Canelli did her best to take credit for the booming economy. This strong national tide was generated by the historical budget balancing and economic stimulus legislation that President Clinton and a Democratic Congress made into law. From here, the president will spend the rest of the evening in Manhattan, where he has some more fundraising to do. And while his time here in Norwalk was short, only three and a half hours, it was enough time for three little girls to build memories that will last a lifetime. Connecticut's a really small state, and he actually came all the way from Washington to here, and I think that's a really big privilege. In Norwalk, Shelley Finland, Fox 61, News at 10.